Hey, here I am again. Second video today. Now, I should probably apologize for being angry a lot. But, I'm not going to do that because I'm really not sorry. The reason why is because there's so many Christians out there giving my Savior a bad name. There's so many people out there, so many Christians, leaving a bad taste in the mouth of anyone who comes across them. It's no wonder people don't like Jesus, because most Christians are not very likable, because they're liars, specifically these rapture teachers. Now I could write a book, probably a big thick book, just only about the pre-tribulation rapture falseness of the whole deal. You know, how, how fake it is, how false it is. And, and these, these preachers, I really don't want to start dropping names. I know that I've said Watchmen on the Wall 88, but there's a ton of them. They just absolutely disgust me because they give the flock a false hope in something. Like so many of them in the last, let's just say, five years of YouTube, everyone talking rapture is any day now because look, if you're going to try to teach the Bible, maybe you should have read the whole thing. And if you're going to be teaching, and you're not a Jew, let's say, or, or a Muslim, let's say you are a Christian, and you're, so therefore you should really know everything that Christ said, right? I mean, you know, following Christ, you might want to know what he said. Like, what was it? Uh, second Revelation? Second Re uh, Revelation chapter 2, verse 26 through 29, where he's, he's talking to the church of Tataria, or whatever, whatever. Revelation 2, 26 through 29, where he hands the morning star to the one who stood strong. You, you can read it for yourself. The man with the iron scepter hasn't happened yet, has it? And he's part of one of the churches? The man with the iron scepter does not happen after a rapture, right? How offensive is your ignorance, you teachers of rapture? The man with the iron scepter that dashes the nations to like pottery to pieces? Our, our Savior is very blessed with this guy, so he hands him the morning star. This all happens before the, any kind of rapture, but it, it, I don't know how many videos in this last few weeks especially. I'm just so sick of it. Rapture, 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 no! You're getting people's hopes up for something that isn't going to happen. Not until after the man with the iron scepter dashes the nations to pieces. And, well, there's a lot of other Bible verses that prove all that he shall do that can't just happen overnight. Restoring everything, all that, right? It's all in there. But you just glaze over it. You, you glaze over, I shall not return until you, sa till you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of our Savior, the Lord is what most Bibles say. Uh, you glaze over so much, and so you get these people that are facing the tribulation thinking, oh, it'll be, I'll be floated out of here any moment now. Put your faith in Christ. Don't put your faith in a rapture. And, and to anyone who watches this video, if this isn't just broadcast out, this information across the entire body of the Christian nation, 
this wide path of Christianity that is absolutely not narrow, teaching people lies, like we're just going to float on out of here, even though the Bible says that's not going to happen. There's going to be some guy come around dashing the nations to pieces. He's doing this for our Heavenly Father and our Savior. It's their will that he does this. They have anointed him to do this. They even gave him the morning star. Proving how evil everyone is, actually. You won't be able to blame it on the devil. It's you that's evil. It's you that hates a rebuke. It's you that hates knowledge. That's all of you that isn't sharing what I've been trying to say for two years now. Get real, everyone. Everyone needs to get real. You claim you love Christ? Well, then why don't you read all the words that he said in the Bible? Just quit pretending like you know it all and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and the book of Revelation and just read all the red words until you actually comprehend everything Christ said and quit putting words into his mouth. Christianity is so disgusting in the eyes of my Heavenly Father because you, you choose to just be deaf. Those who have the ears to hear ain't Christians. Those who have the eyes to see, they're not Christians. They're the scattered Israelites that know their, their Messiah is Christ, not Christians. Christians don't follow Christ. It's so obvious. 2,000 years to stumble upon this man with the iron scepter, it's right in your face. Yet, we're still talking about a rapture. How ignorant. Why? Why are you so ignorant? It's just, it, you know, if you weren't taking the role as a teacher, I wouldn't be using you as a retarded punching bag right now. That's all of you. I, I don't have the names in front of you. Some of you have been making videos for 10 years. You got 100,000 Marcus Rogers with a half a million people holding crowns, taking pictures. Chicago Bulls. Fools. Just fools. You claim you know. You take the role as a teacher and you're teaching thousands of people what's just gonna get them killed. I'm not, I don't care who goes to Judgment Day. Those who believe in Christ and are following Christ, their outcome is their outcome. Whether that's eternal life for a thousand generations kind of thing. Or that's, you know, just going to heaven and maybe getting past your Judgment Day however that be, or maybe you don't get past your judgment day, however that be. But the comprehension level of hundreds, maybe thousands of people out there teaching, they're writing books, they're selling books, they're signing books, they're selling t-shirts, and they're clueless. They're leading our Heavenly Father's flock astray. Woe to them. Woe. It's going to burn forever in complete darkness. Because you took the role upon yourself to lead people astray when you had no clue. You're teaching rapture, 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 denying, denying tons of the book of Revelation. It doesn't add up. The man in that church that has the iron scepter, he's a believer. He has faith. He is faithful and true, or, well, our Savior wouldn't bestow something on a piece of flesh otherwise. And one of the nations that that person is dashing is the nation of Christianity, which is the absolutely most disgusting nation on the face of the earth, the earth even though they're the only ones that are claiming the Messiah as what he is, the Messiah, but they, but they choose not to follow him. How many churches with crosses and flags? How many Christians with their crosses, their idol image? Before you are to love your neighbor, before you're to love your enemy, before you're to love yourself or your family, your brother, your sister, your mother, you're to love the Almighty Creator above all first. That's the, that's the first commandment, according to Christ. 
and you're proving that you don't love him or you know better. I mean, you know, who wants to go to Judgment Day and they didn't take the time to read the Bible to kind of get their own opinion? Who wants to go to Judgment Day claiming that they're saved by Christ and they never even read all of his red, that's R-E-D, red words, you know, the ones in red, or most Bibles. So go through and read all the words in Christ. And then when you get to Revelation 2, 26 through 29, and it proves that, uh, well, the rapture can't happen till after this guy. It just makes you look like a big, stupid idiot. And you make my Savior look like a big, stupid idiot because you are a representative of him, right? At least according to the whole world. The whole world thinks Christians represent Christ. And they don't. I'm here to let the whole rest of the world know, especially the Muslims and even the Jews and the atheists, that the Christians are all hypocrites. I think I know three or five of them, five of them that are not hypocrites, that are willing to open their eyes and look at the truth and read the scriptures and not preach, oh, we're going to just float out of here and not have to deal with the tribulation. I could talk for five years and have describing the nasty, rotten taste that gets left in my mouth every time I see a Christian just logeria, vomiting words out of their mouth that are all lies. You're just liars. Forked tongue, snakes, wolves in sheep clothing, false shepherds. And if you don't repent, it's going to be so ugly for you. I'm going to continue publicly embarrassing you until the whole world knows how stupid you are.